Hey everybody, the Bonga's back. Welcome to part 9 of Let's Play Final Fantasy VI Advance, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. In the last part, we finished Terra, Edgar's, and Bannon's scenario, so now we only have two left to choose from. Some people say that they recommend going with Sabin next, but I'm going to go with Locke next, because I can. Locke has worked hard to stymie or stimmy the efforts of the Imperial troops in South Figaro, but now he desperately needs to escape. Yeah, seeing as how we are in South Figaro, that's taken over by the Imperials. Damn it! Gotta get to Narsh on the fly! Yeah, but with the Imperials blocking the entrances, how are we supposed to get there? Rich people's homes always have secret passages. You just have to search until you find a place where you can feel a draft. Uh, I already did that in a previous video, woman. Safe to say, you don't have a computer. Then again, this game was made, you know, before YouTube even existed. And before the internet was that reliable. Most of the people were still on dial-up. Okay, there's a heavy armor over here that we can fight, but we're well under-leveled against it, so leave it alone. You can actually beat it if you want and steal an iron helmet, but it's not worth it. Let's see what I need to do now. Oh yeah, you want some cider, eh? I think we can work that out. My grandpa used to be a servant for the richest family in town. But he said I'm only supposed to let merchants through here now. Ooh, and I'm not a merchant. I'm sure that can be fixed up real soon. Just gotta find a way to do it. Let's go in here, to the item shop. Stay away from those armed soldiers! They'll kill you just for talking to them! Yes, they, they seem very polite. It's like, hey, how's it going, dead? Let me buy some more potions. And another gold needle. A tent, I'll buy three more. Okay, we're good. Hey, you're a merchant, what's up? You're that infamous thief, Locke, aren't you? Oh, now that was just plain rude. I'm a treasure hunter, and don't you forget it. Ooh, we're gonna have to throw down with a merchant now. He doesn't really attack for much. All you gotta do is just steal from him. Well, keep it up until you get his clothes. What the hell is he wearing on his head anyway? Is that like goggles? Ah, I got the plumed hat. And his clothes. Here we go. They're a little tight, but the price was right. Phew! And then he runs away. Technically, he's not in his birthday suit if he's still got underwear on. Why do I always have to go and open my mouth? Because you're a merchant. That's what they do. Actually, I think I forgot to equip the stuff on lock. That was dumb of me. Not that it matters, but oh well. Let me put some relics on you, too. Uh, we'll go with a... No, not the Hyper Wrist. Uh, let's see... Hermes Sandals, that's what I meant to say. And what else? What else? I think I'll go with a Hyper Wrist. Nope. I think I already grabbed the Elixir in there. Okay, now that I'm a merchant, I should be able to get through. Hey, what's up? Let's go talk to that little kid again. And again, I don't have the cider. Hopefully that'll be enough. Let's talk to Buddy. Seems how I'm a merchant, I should go through. You're a merchant, right? Okay, go ahead. Um, thanks, I guess. That allows me to progress. Yeah, that rhymes. Now, let's see. Let's go over this way. Actually, I don't have to do this because there's another shortcut, but I'll do this anyway. 
What are you doing here? Scram! Oh, now we get to fight a soldier. Or a cadet, actually. Now we gotta steal his clothes. And a potion to boot. Right now, Locke is a soldier. They're a bit too large, but he didn't charge. What, is he trying to be cute rhyming now? Aw, I wanted to hit the guy. Oh well. Now I can sneak in a lot easier. Hopefully everybody notices. Hey, what's up? Let's see... I can probably gather some information in the pub. A detachment should be making its way towards Nar, should we speak. We'll be linking up with them soon. Ah, so it looks like they're going to be attacking Nar soon. That's not good at all. Let's go over here, see what we can do. Get back to your post! Okay. Wait, I shall do no such thing! Oh wait, this is the pub, never mind. Oh no! I'm late for my shift guarding the underground passage to the mansion! Oh well, better, le better never than late. Really? It seems that our famous Lady General turned traitor. I heard they have her locked up somewhere in this town. Really? I heard there are two tunnels beneath the northern mansion. One leads to another house, and the other leads out of town. Hmm, interesting information. Oh, this is the merchant that gives the cider. Hey you! Can't you steal my cider, did you? You dirty little thief! You realize I'm talking in Imperial Garb, you know. That is not a smart thing to do. Yeah, and I got another plumed hat. If you're lucky, you might be able to steal, like, a main gauche, too. But unfortunately, I'm not that lucky. There. And now the old man should talk. Let's see what information he has. Hey guys, what's up? Um, can you move? Thank you. Alright, now to make my way back to that old man. If I know correctly, he should be around here. Yes, I am a merchant. Let me through. Okay, here's the old man. Ah, cider glug glug. Hmm? Secret passage? Well, yes, there, there is a tunnel from here to the mansion on the north end of town. Go downstairs and tell my grandson the password. It's, uh, um, I forget. Oh, well, that, that really helps me. And there's practically no clue here. So essentially, you're just gonna have to guess. Well, no clue that I could see. And it's courage. I'll show you the secret entrance. Uh, yes, you do that. Oh, you're more useful than all those soldiers. So now sh I should appear on the other side of town, on the northern end. That's the richest house there. I couldn't even get in there before. With all those guards. The Imperial troops have turned this house into their headquarters. Really? Thanks to our inside informant, this town fell with almost no resistance. Informant? It had to be that, uh... That's creepy old guy there, or young guy, that's saying, you know, I'm just gonna write to the Empire and stuff. Wind the clock! Wind the clock! Uh, that was just a jump rope rhyme! Clang, 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 I'm Magi Tech Armor! Dumb kids. Gah! These kids are driving me nuts! Can't they keep quiet for two minutes? They're kids. They're not supposed to be quiet, but they are supposed to let me through the damn door! Damn kids. Oh, what have I done? I betrayed my town to the Empire. All I could think of was the money. Yes, you are a selfish one. 
Yeah, I hear a draft. That's right, I was in this passage before. This is where we need to go. Remove disguise. Well, it doesn't really matter what you do, but take it off anyway. I know I've seen her before. Wait a second. She's one of the Empire's generals! This is what happens to traitors. You know, that scene where she was actually beat up, they took that out of the GBA version. Probably due to an incident in Japan that, you know, they just had to take it out out of respect for them. A Magi Tech Knight forged by the Empire and tempered in battle. None have ever truly known the woman beneath the General's guise. And her name is Celeste, by the way. So, the mighty Celeste has fallen. Ha 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 ha. Not as far as those who'd use her strength to oppress the weak. Quiet! Kefka's planning to poison every last man, woman, and child in the Kingdom of Doma. Shut up! Huh. Run that mouth of yours while you still can. Your execution's tomorrow. Keep a close eye on her. Yes, sir! I could stand guard for days without sleep. Oh, for days. We're gonna have to wait a while, then. And she faints. Okay, that's enough. Otakon? Da 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 da. And he's asleep. Of course. Her hands are bound. <laughs> Just keep looking. Well, that really does nothing but remove the binds. And you are. Name's Locke. I'm with the Returners. You're a Returner? I'm. Or at least I was, General Celeste. Now I'm nothing but a traitor. Well, let's get going. You take me with you? No, I can barely walk. I never make it out of here. I appreciate it, but even if you got me out, you wouldn't be able to protect me. I'm better off waiting here for the Executioner. At least that way I'll keep my pride. I'll protect you. Trust me, you'll be fine. Let's go. Wait. Huh? This soldier might have something on him that can help us get out of here. Ah, it's a clock key. <laughs> Stealing is wrong. Got the old clock key. Whoa! More soup and... What a narcoleptic. And some bread, too! Huh, that's funny. Anyways, let's just go through Celeste's equipment. Uh, great sword, heavy shield. Plumed head be better than a hairband. And some leather armor. There, now she's well equipped. As for relics, let's see. What would be good? We'll go star pendant. And a white cape. Why not? Alright, now let's begin our escape. Uh, let's see, she also has her own magic, too. She has Cure, Poisona, and Blizzard. And that's it. I am not impressed. Now... Now that we got the key, we should do something with one of these clocks. That one is already ticking, but this one isn't. Wind the clock, why not? Oh, there's a hidden passage. Sweet. Now when we get here, there are enemy encounters, so watch yourself. Ooh, an iron armor. We should equip that. Eh, give it to Celeste, why not? Sure, it'll slow her down, but it's something. Now, you have to watch for some secret passages, too. You are bound to find many. Look around here. 
Oh dear, now we got three new enemies. Commander, of course. Eh, let's try steel. Okay, we got a potion. Now, Celeste's runic actually comes in handy. It absorbs an oncoming magic spell to be increased into her MP and will not attack anyone. However, it's useless against commanders because they don't use magic at all. And they're also pretty weak. Ah, lock into level, nice. Okay, now let's go down these stairs. Aw, oh, damn it. Oh, here's a new enemy, Vector Hound. What do these pups have on them? Ah, oh, potion. It's always nice to have plenty of potions. But hey, stealing is still wrong. Nice. Usually when a Vector Hound is alone, it'll just run away. So if you don't want to get the extra experience, kill the Vector Hound last. Uh, let's see what we got in here. Ooh, an X-Potion. Oh, there's a hidden chest over here. It's a ribbon. Ribbons are very good. Why? Because they allow you to prevent all status ailments. That is what I consider pretty cat's ass. Any chance you get a ribbon, God's sakes, you take it. Ah, oh, hi, Ether. Is there anything else here? I don't think so. Uh, let's let's heal up so we can continue the rest of this and get some more treasure. Hopefully, we get them all without too many encounters. Up, oh, there's some treasure over here. Let's take a look. Heavy shield, great sword. Already got great swords and plenty of heavy shields. So this wasn't exactly a great collection. Alright, let's see if there's any more chests that I missed. I suppose we're over this way. Up oh, there's one. Alright, let's take a looky look! Oh, it's an earring! Okay, what do earrings do? Okay, earring that boosts the strength of the wearer's magic. Ooh, this definitely goes to Celeste. Seeing as how you do use magic. Uh, is there anything over here? Um, I think that passageway was just a red hearing. Nothing in here. Uh, looks like a way out. Why are you helping me? You remind me a lot of someone. But what's the matter anyway? I'm helping you because I want to. Yeah, she can be a bit ungrateful, you know. What are you doing here? Scram! Okay. I am the general after all, escaping execution, but I'll just leave. You know, it's not like I'm important or anything. Man, somebody's getting fired for that. I'm gonna get well rested. For free, of course. Ah, so much better. So glad we shared the bed, even though we just met. Okay, now we have to head to Narsh, and of course, we have to go west. But we already know that. Now let's see what I can steal from that Belmadar. Ah, more Mithril Claws! How convenient! And Sabin's scenario is next! I believe he still has the Genji Gloves. Get you an extra set of Mithril Claws. It's like Christmas all over again. Okay, I'm gonna stop the video here. Next part, we're gonna go in this cave and see what's beyond. See ya.